I'm going to sanding these handles. Perhaps some kind of pin rivet lock picks will fly off. I think it's just fine now. I can <laughs> welding this back together. I'm from Finland. Take it out. Hi, I am Sami and I want to be Overlander. I revealed my ego. This is Wannabe Overlander YouTube channel. Welcome to this episode and uh, I'm going to um, fixing door locks and I painted already door handles and I have a Chinese set of new locking cylinders and uh, here are original cylinders so let's see is this possible to fix this set to working. So now this door check strap mounting place is welded and uh, painted and I put some cavity wax with the brush there and now it's definitely tight and working as new and uh, I think it should not make any worries several years. I put the window in here and I have these dust covers and uh, dummy plugs for the for the door cable uh, canals but uh, definitely I'm not going to install any wires to these doors I don't put the speakers to the doors so they don't need to be so heavy I pull out the door locks and uh, I have a new cylinders from China I don't know is it a good decision what quality they are but um, I'm going to sanding these handles because this rubber scratch is painted off here and there are some kind of blisters so I'm going to sanding this and uh, spray new color and this uh, sliding door handle was uh, this one pin uh, I don't know is it, it was perhaps some kind of pin rivet I make some screw pin there and uh, I hope it's can stay in the place now this handle works perfect and it's not touch anymore together here so here was the color scratched off so now I'm going to paint this also and the rear door lock was different cylinder there was a longer than the, those Chinese inside Chinese set because perhaps that was barn doors I have a tailgate so I think that cylinder might possible change only those picks inside I hope I get color everywhere because I, I sprayed with the red primer so I hope the primer not see there not much I think it's okay there was oil inside <laughs> they are like this they looks fine now just put the new cylinders in and okay let's try to put together this one sliding door handle and uh, it's important you clean this old barrel hole here so there is not the dry increase and not the thick color layer there then we take the new cylinder put the key on it and you see there is a different you can put the barrel only one way in so this key works either way and then take this sleeve off and now don't pull out the key otherwise this uh, I don't know what is this English name lock picks will fly off so now we can put some grease here you can add it later also but now it's easy to put a little bit extra here I use this kind of PTF spray this you could use with the plastic metal and plastic parts and then we put the barrel in the hole and you will see that slots here this slot is for the spring so you cannot put it wrong way in I can't remember now what, which way this was. I, I can see actually there is a two side of slots. It's not straight. Yeah, and there I can see the tiny marks where the spring was. So it's coming out of this way. So barrel goes in this way. It's a little bit tight in this end, but I think it's when you use it, it's gonna be fine. Then you need that spring. We have spring here. And then this pin 
I, I clean this pin because I, I put there a little bit uh, something Loctite. I don't want this pin drops off and then a little bit old grease off from the spring. Anyway, it get dirty later. So now just put the spring on. This way when you turn the key, it's shrinking this spring, not the getting larger. So tight, but anyway, it's a little bit tight. Yeah, now it's in, it's in the slots. It's go this way in. It's Chinese barrel, so you could know it. it it's not a perfect, but it's. I think it's gonna work. Then put this cap on, and it goes only one way, like this. Then we take this pin bolt, and I'm going to put here a little bit this Loctite, and then the pin in the hole. When it's in the correct position, it goes quite easy. And this pin couldn't go all the way in, if I remember. So I leave it a little bit out. Oh yeah, it comes off on other side. I didn't take it too much. Too much out now, yeah. I, I make a, I can put it back a little bit with the screwdriver from another side. You see, it's gonna move like this. So leave it, leave it like this. It's not stuck on other side. There is some kind of spurs come out off from the aluminium, but uh, it's just fine there. Now it's working fine. I think it's just fine now. So you remember I repaired this one pivot bolt here. I put it also together with the Loctite. So I hope the screw don't start to turn there. But it locks quite okay, so I think it's not going to turn anywhere. And this grease can a little bit prevent from the rusting also. So that's why I'm trying to add it there. Now we have a brand new door handle. Inside you see the damage when the pivot was, wasn't in the correct place. It was touched together because it's turned the wrong way, but now it's correct. Another door handles, I put the rubber and vinyl treatment here. So the rubber parts are quite fine now also on the new lock barrels. These are now perfect. So let's go install them in the car. And I forget I have one more lock, tailgate lock. Uh, and uh, be very careful with this. This uh, is a plastic and there are some metal parts. One was coming off here but I managed to put it back. But the problem is here, the lock is different. It's a long cylinder instead of this mine, what I have here. And this is short one. I think this is the barn door, not for the tailgate. I am going to take off these small pieces inside, take the new ones to put it in the old one, because I see the key works fine here with the old one. I'm talking about uh, it's the same profile, so the key sliding in normal, and this is just fine. This my old lock, but I want to have it with the same key, so I need to change those those things in, in one by one, so I can put them in the correct order. So let's take off this one, and there are that small springs inside. So now I'm going to clean a little bit. There is a spring in the place and this one there's no spring so I have a tool missing. Those are so tiny I shoot it somewhere. I try if I could take off springs from here. I think they should drop there. Yeah. But the springs in the new Chinese lock are smaller than springs in the in here. Going to be quite tricky. Better I use this this bond here so I can install them one by one. And then the upper side, so and then the last one. Yeah. The old barrel was not so bad, so I think this is just fine now. So, and there was not a spring here, if I remember. I need to check for sure. So then just put this, this piece back here, like this, yeah. It was like this. 
Loctite there in the hole, pin bolt there. Yeah, this one is tight enough for sure. So now we have a tailgate lock with the same key. You see it's working. It's not turn here unless you put the key in all the way. Yeah, that's it. Let's check before tightening them more how they works. Could I open the door? Yeah. What about the lock? Yeah, the new locks working. A little bit tightening screws. There's a front door handle and there's a sliding door handle. I don't have one striker here yet in the place, but uh, now there are new locks. So, doors lock, doors open. Yeah, perfect. I have lots of parts which I still need to paint same as uh, my different carrier for the rear axle needs to paint and uh, this one is very rotten you see how many rust have inside here and uh, we sandblasted this last summer but uh, one year ago spring but um, I'm going to drill out those spots and check what about this one are. I know some company sell new new fresh cut cutted steel piece here but uh, I think it's not so rusty so I'm just drill out and banging out those rust places and uh, make some extra strength weldings here. I think it's gonna be just fine. Let's drill out those holes and we will see what's inside. It's gonna be quite big job take some cutting oil I use this kind of tool Now it's any more one. Last one. Now I can turn it off like this. Yeah. Now I, I could clean this surface and bang this straight and I'm drilling more holes here. I can weld it better. Perhaps there is a tiny hole. Yeah. But I'm not going to change this one. It's quite thick anyway. I'm just fixing those places. Welding there, a little bit extra material. I can weld it together here. I can cut it off a little bit here and weld it together here. It can last forever because I'm... Then I put the cavity wax here. You see there is not anything 
for the corrosion and protection so that's why it's so rusty let's start the cleaning yeah now it starts to go back to shape and if you if I use some clamps when I welding it it's gonna be just fine I'm going to a little bit banging this more straight I can I can take out clean off the deeper rust and then I'm going to drill a little bit bigger holes so I can weld it this Back. cross member rare different yeah, uh, carriage beam I don't know what is this name but um, it's quite rusty as the previous one I'm going to open this one too and to clean the rust off there and uh, welding it back these bushings actually in the Volkswagen catalog I cannot find the part number for this there is a part number for this whole piece but it's not available anymore so I'm going to change these bushings because uh, you see how torn it is so I'm measuring this one and it's actually the same size as the front wishbone arm the rear bush is the sa exactly the same size so I found a way hammering it off and it's already first one already slips in the first hit big uh, socket you know and uh, it's a 50 millimeter socket and this one is 32 millimeter which fits going inside this outer sleeve but uh, takes contact with the pushing sleeve so I'm hitting like this it's sliding off and I think now it's bottoming there yeah the first one is off is it aluminum or what it is but it's very lightweight take off another side it's not tight let's hope we get the right ones so you clean them with the decreaser now the rust is off and uh, just clean the surface and put the welding primer on so then I can welding this back together and you see all those black areas inside there was a cavity wax and, and uh, it wasn't rusty but there's not enough cavity wax so it wasn't go between two sheet metals so that's why there was a rust so if you put the cavity wax make sure it's have enough excess excess uh, wax come out of the two sheet metal so then you can have enough there we don't need to mind another side this time because we just paint the inside well then back together grinding off those spots and uh, and then paint them outside the color will burn off most of the places but uh, you feel better if you know there is some kind of paint inside and again i'm going to use this Premax welding primer corrosion shoot primer and there is a welding certificate Leave it to dry in and then we can weld it back together. Okay, one piece welded and now it's the second one. And the rust is removed inside and uh, painted now. As you see, make sure the bolts can go to the holes later. And now these areas weld together. and they look rock solid because there's not the cap anymore a little bit sanding this one and uh, I just put now a little bit primer let's paint these parts I'm covering this uh, aluminium end here and, uh, and this shaft I'm going to end this video here uh, and uh, I don't know what's in next episode because I'm waiting parts 
I don't have it yet bolts and something what I need for mounting this to the car and uh, wheel bearings and something so thank you for watching and don't forget subscribing to the channel it costs nothing so let's paint this finished and uh, see you in next episode It's powder coated, it's much easier. So this acrylic silver problem is if you spray it too much, the metal plates, aluminum, start to move and then it looks like a, some kind of hammer hammer tape hammer tape tape but uh, for these parts we don't need to mind that these are cast iron parts anyway so I try to make the proper layer because those wishbone arms somewhere there is a very thin layer color so that's why I try to paint this time more thicker layer. So you need to wait it paint paint a little bit dry and then you spray only dry layer up there. Thank you for watching and see you in next episode. It's gonna look even surface. But the problem is my air is too cold, it's very cold outside and, and the color is not drying very quick. This video is here, it's done and uh, see you.